afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us once more for another in our series, A Story to Tell. Today we have with us Miss Anne-Marie Fuller and she'll be sharing with us some of her experiences. Before we start, just to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not yet done so and also our WhatsApp group. The description will be below the video. You can just check for the number and also the Facebook page that we have. All right? So let's begin. Thank you so much for joining us, Miss. Thank you, Lestine, and congratulations for this wonderful program. Oh my You're God. doing a mighty work, <laughs> young man. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be sharing this little time with you to get to know you a little better because some persons might very well know you from plays and theater <laughs> but they might not really understand who this person is so let us just get into that so you you were Anne Marie Fuller most persons know you as yes. Fuller Tell us about your earlier years. Where were you born? In Kingston? You know, we were born in Franklin Town. I think it's what? One something Somerset Avenue. Yes. My mother said I was born in, almost born in a pale. <laughs> Say born at home. At home. At home. And a, and a Friday. Friday the 13th. What? Well, Jamaica. Oh, well, and the world says it's a bad looking number for me. Mm -hmm. It's a fabulous number. number. My house is 13, I remember. <laughs> Everything is 13, 13. Mm -hmm. so to so God be born the in glory. Kingston. In Kingston. Uh, what was this school that you went to first? First, if I can remember, I was, my mother left me, mm -hmm. went to England. Yeah. You know the Jamaican yeah. story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, and then I went to Manchester. Okay. My grandfather said she took me there when I was about three months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I remember him saying to me, your mother come here mm -hmm. and I carry you up to the lamp. Mm -hmm. And I say, this is full of picnic. My God. Improve <laughs> you. Improve you. Improve I remember you. those days my grandfather used to tell me. Okay, things so from like you were very young, you went to live with um, your grandparents yes, in Cranfield. It, it, normally in Manchester, oh, Manchester, a place called Robins Hall. Robins Hall. Them says the bush. <laughs> I don't know me there. I remember my husband and I went there. He said to me, how oh, you come out of this place alive? My God. <laughs> so like it's very deep. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. The first time I remember my mother, mm -hmm. I was about 12 years old. I went to meet her in Christiana. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, Miss, you know if the Kingston bus come yet? Mm -hmm. Mommy go. She I didn't know at the I time it was her. your mother. I saw a little tear coming oh, no. out of her eyes. But what can I tell you? Mm -hmm. It's our story. Mm -hmm. The story may be sad yes. or the story may be glad. Yes. But I feel a story that we tell. So we're going to tell it. Yes. So, yeah. so you met her for the very first time the here. The very in first time in Christian, I remember going up. Miss! You know, if the king's son, because them time they really clam me. Yeah. Me running my grandparents' house when? at 12 years yes. old. Me have my bank up on my head, yeah. and me, I, I mean, I wasn't shy them time. They know yeah. me feel shy, but them time growing up, yes. I was so me run yeah. the house, clean the house, cook everything, everything, mm -hmm. everything. So, other little children were living there, or yes. were you only as a child? No, I have other cousins and some, mm -hmm. and one and two of my sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they lived for a time and then they moved to the US. Okay. So, you were mm -hmm. well behaved, little girl. I saw them say. <laughs> so them say so. Okay, grandma never for talk two times. No, me love. The only talk she talk, I remember her with a hose. Mm -hmm. And she put me down and she with the hose. If mm -hmm. it if, if it's no them who says abuse. abuse okay. But thank God for those days, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for those so, early days. So who who had as the favorite? Grandma or gra uh, grandpa? I think my grandfather. Grandfather. Yes. <laughs> he put me up here, so yes. See for me, Annie, then? Yes. You know for me, Annie? Mm -hmm. Everything is about Annie, you Annie, Annie. Oh, right oh my name. God, I love him. I remember. What's his oh name? My God. Herbie Fuller. Herbie Fuller. I remember as a child, and I never forgot that. Um, he was cooking, and I was a little girl. And him look at me, him put in the flour in the pot, and him look at me and do a little one for me and put it in the fire. Mm -hmm. It stays with me to today. Yeah. I don't forget that. Feel very special. Special and feel loved. Mm -hmm. Let me feel so loved. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So you said you met your mom when you were 12. 12 years old. And how was that experience? How did you feel? Well, I was so excited to mm -hmm. see mommy. At, I mean, I never have. It's no Mirella. I realized, say, wow, mommy wasn't there. But yeah. I felt so special with my grandparents. I didn't even felt, you yeah. know, that mom wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. they did a good job. Yeah, they did a good job. Okay, yes. so you came back with her to get Yeah, she took me from at 12 years old, mm -hmm. went to live with her at 5 Eastburn Road. Where's I that? went to Win oh, to Winwood Road. Okay, Winward and Road. I went to Winwood Road primary, primary school at that time. Okay. Yes. So how was it coming into Kings and going to school? How was that experience? That experience, the transition was good. I remember it's the first time I'm going to see the sea. Mm -hmm. I love the ocean now. Mm -hmm. Every time I would run to the gate, peeping on the sea. Yes. <laughs> 12 years old, I've never seen the, the sea before. So I was very excited for those. So she stayed, early days. She stayed at that time. She and you know, funnily, she come and she never, she went back again about, she came to live and she said no. She, she went back again after mm -hmm. she come and I, I was settling in. Mm -hmm. And she left again. So we stayed she had, with She bored me out now in man. Okay. With a lady named what? Baba, a lady. So you moved back to, to Manchester, Man different part in Manchester. So how long is <laughs> that? Like maybe about two years. About two See, years. See, Winard Road School. Winard Road years. Primary, right? At, two years. Yes, at Winard Road, though, I had some good memories. Mm -hmm. I used to um, do a lot of enter a lot of fest drama festivals, um, mm -hmm. speech festival. Mm -hmm. So I had some good memories at Winwood Road Primary. Mm -hmm. So you went yes. back to Mandeville. Yes. And bored it. Miss Baba. Is Miss Baba or the Hello, Baba? no, they call her Baba. Yes. I guess she would trim man here, woman here. Oh, so she was a real Baba. <laughs> Yeah, the story never gets hot, you know. Okay, so you oh stayed with her for God. a few years. Yes, yes, and, yes. And how was that? She, she treated you very well? Not like what I'm accustomed like to with my grandpa, grandpa Ma she, she didn't do a special dumping. No, dinner. she didn't. I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that at all. But to God, she had other children there, boarding and stuff. Yeah, well, maybe her daughter was there. Not mm -hmm. much. Not many mm -hmm. children was there. And how yeah. did you feel? Get in to know your mother and then she left and know your... Feel sad again. Sad again. <laughs> yeah, I remember every June, it was a June, the first of June, mm -hmm. I would feel so sad. Mm -hmm. Now you see why I fall in love with Jesus. Yes. Because he said we'll never want to leave. leave. For I guess this is why I fall in love so with the Lord so much. So how long you stayed in Mandeville? Not very long, about, let me see, I spent about uh, maybe... a. Uh, maybe about four years down there. So you would have mm -hmm. finished high school and thing. High school. I didn't go to high school. There was no high school to go? <laughs> no, but I ended up at high school. I went to secondary school. Secondary school. I came back and went to, she put me now, mommy sent me back to my auntie mm -hmm. at 3 um, Warrington Ash Road, oh, okay. in Crossroads. Mm -hmm. And I went to Holy Trinity yes. at this time. Mm -hmm. And... Um, that is that's the journey of school. Okay, so yes. you were telling me that your first job yes. is actually in theater. Yes, you know, I, no other I was doing the pantomime, the national pantomime when I was at Holy Trinity. Mm -hmm. I started that. That was job for me. That mm -hmm. was when um, what, what year? Nineteen eighty, I think. Mm -hmm. Seventy nine, eighty. Mm -hmm. That was my first national pantomime, and that was my job. And that's so you I enjoyed started. it or somebody saw the talent in you and encouraged you? People um, saw the talent and would push me and say, go for the audition. Mm -hmm. I remember Dennis Scott, the late Dennis Scott, mm -hmm. was the director. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he saw me and that was it. That was the opening. So the first pantomime you were in, what was the name? You remember the name? Yeah, man, man, song, man. This is where we get this, this story thing. Mm -hmm. The song may be glad or the story may be sad. But a few is story. Me can't sing, you know. Mm -hmm. When me sing, all over them laugh. Yeah. But a few is story mm -hmm. that we tell. And we would say, tell them, Dada. Dada was Charles Hyatt. Mm -hmm. Tell them, Dada. Tell them. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, I enjoy so that. It was Panta a musical. Man. Yeah, man. Yes. Even though me can't sing, me don't know how me yeah. end up. Oh, you got it. 
darling i'm laugh after i'm singing all the time but um i guess the acting mm -hmm. yes the director saw the and acting and after you left holy trinity you went full time into into, into theater. The, into theater yeah man from one pantomime to the other and then i used to do the festival with a lot of gold medals so the door just mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. open up so after open the pantomime um you went into to like plays and those stuff mm -hmm. and tv and yes those man stuff. and at one time it's festival queen 1985 festival <laughs> <laughs> Hello, please. For 1985. Excuse me. 1985 Festival Queen, honey. <laughs> you remember? You represented Kingston? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you did your piece. Yes, and man. And get the crown. Miss Festival Queen. You won? Yeah, most talented, darling. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Festival Queen, yes, yes, it was 1985 Festival Queen. Oh that was a drama because the tree of my teeth, me get so excited, the tree teeth drop out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in nerves. Yes. Let's see, I don't know if it's my nerves or what. I remember Joan Andrea Hutchinson, God bless that girl. Yes. My nerves took me and my teeth, I tried them out. To, I don't know. They it. went, went in that contest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I remember John helping me there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, um, tell me now, how exactly do you remember how exactly you got to know Oliver? You're um, saying from the pantomime. Yes, I that? think we met um, in the pantomime. Yes, we met in the pantomime, and this great friend, late friend of mine, Kenneth Fennett, we used to enter festival together, and they mm -hmm. were good friends. We're all an Aston Coco. My mm -hmm. goodness. We were all friends and mm -hmm. I guess the pantomime, mm -hmm. you know, is where it's a meeting ground for all of us. That is where the young talent meet. Yes. Yeah. So um, going back to your personal life a little now, you had yes. a son, you got married, you had a son. Tell us Abraham, about that. my yes. heart beat, baby. <laughs> Tell us about, about that experience. Well, I give me trouble sometimes though. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was, um, well, uh, Abraham is how old now? Abraham is 19, 19, 19. time fly, you know. Yes. Lord, a thousand years is like a day gone by, you know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't believe time fly like so much. Yeah, Abraham, 19 years old. He lives overseas with his dad. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. So how was that experience, um, getting your first child and everything? And Lord, you know? oh, <laughs> that was an experience because I think I get pregnant about 37. Mm -hmm. The people in Florida say, oh, be careful, you know, you have a mongol -like child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, that is it. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> so you, you lived out here in Mary, are you? No, I went because I went overseas. Okay, so you yes. went to live overseas. So Not right? legally, please. <laughs> no, I don't I'm a want citizen. The immigration, no, uh, I'm a citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen. There. Still? No, well, <laughs> do I citizen? Do I citizen? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's yes, fine. That's yes, fine. So yes. you went to school and thing over yeah, there overseas. And everything. Yes, my dear. And then um <laughs> you decided to come back home. Yes. Um I don't know whenever I go overseas there's something about Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I can't give it up. Longing for home. Yeah, always longing to be home. Ah mm -hmm. uh, I can't settle no matter how I tried, and I, I think I migrate about two, three times, mm -hmm. and I've always I come still find a way back home. <laughs> Somehow I find a way back home. Oh God, I love this. So maybe the next that. time you go for them to stamp it, the man say, "No, I'm not giving you. You're not serious. <laughs> you need to make up your mind." <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, so when you were in the States, did you yes. get involved in any um, performing arts and those stuff? Just mm -hmm. the same, right? Just give it a break. No, I don't. No, I never really. Just give it a little break. Actually, you know, from a, um, from a God Save uh, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. I never really looked back to act again okay. on stage. Okay. Anywhere. Okay, tell us about that I'm experience. I'm trading my shackles I know for you a glorious are a crown. I'm very devoted Christian. I don't play that. <laughs> tell us about that experience. How oh, you, oh, you came into the church. Okay, church how thing. I came in the church, I guess when the Lord, Lord boy calling, you know, mm -hmm. you have to answer. And I'm happy that I answered the master's call. I remember I was in Miami and um this preacher he was talking about love 
safe only we love each other and I said oh God I want to be safe and something in my soul was just crying out even from here when I used to be in the theater and I used to go to Cleve Grand Church whenever I go to church I would weep and weep and I said why am I crying like that I was just weeping so when this um, the pastor preached about love I said this is it I'm giving my life to God and I remember the Lord in the night when I went to my bed the Lord said why don't you serve me what do you have to lose mm -hmm. and I said this is it I want to be baptized now mm -hmm. and w the churches they wouldn't baptize I said you have to come to um, class, class yes. first and I remember I have a girlfriend Maxine Tyne she said she has um, a sister in um, Kingston Maura Pedler mm -hmm. They, she go to Wildman Street, so come down there, they will baptize you immediately. Yes. And I run the Sunday night. Oh my God, I was so excited. Mm -hmm. I know this is bigger than me. Yes. This is why I know the Almighty God is bigger than how we yes. ever think. Because that night is like I was on fire. I said, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. This is where I belong. I belong to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited. Mm -hmm. 25 years ago this is. And I'm still happy in the Lord. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Mm -hmm. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing that, you know, ever happened to me. I know you have a, 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 I'm passionate a ministry about, going yes. on. Tell us about your ministry that you have going well, on. Every holiday I love to do something, you know, like Valentine's Day, I would show the love of Jesus, rent right a hotel and say, come people, just to show the love of Jesus to these people. Mm -hmm. And Easter time, just gather people together mm -hmm. and um, just, you know, have a, in a breakfast style mm -hmm. and just tell them about Jesus Christ. And use that as an opportunity. As, to as an Easter. opportunity. And um, I'm going out, my pastor give me the okay to go. Mm -hmm. I am going there. At least I'm there already. Mm -hmm. I'm there with some people down by Riri downtown. Mm -hmm. um, I, I witness to those people all the time, mm -hmm. all the time. There's a passion in my heart for them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, tell us about um, the meeting of your now husband. I, I know you're now Townsend. Yes, Silton, Mas yes. Gossi. Yes. <laughs> As I was saying it to you before, this is very strange. Mm -hmm. Silton and I never know each other in the theater. This mm -hmm. is why I said the Lord said don't judge because people see us They yes. would say it's from the theater. Yes. Nothing like that. I was in Miami And I said there's something in me. I said I want to come back home I want to do some work and the Lord was just dealing with me. You need to come back home You need to come back home and I said wow I remember packing up um, the job I was in and I said I want to come and do the work of God I wasn't that ease. And I, when I came back, Silton's wife died three months after I came. And I called him and said, you know, my condolences to mm -hmm. Lorna and everything. Because you, you yes. know him from in the industry. And yes, things. man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I, it's like I was the only person he could reach out to in his, you know, mourning yes. days. I would open myself and you know show him you know not even thinking yes but I guess the father had, you know yes. otherwise and just to pour out my you know self to him and say well then you know it's not it's not over mm -hmm. this is not it you know encouragement, encouragement. Mm -hmm. and that is it that is it I don't know I don't know when <laughs> You one don't know what one thing lead to another, <laughs> and that was it. And he says, but then he, the relationship, Sinton and I relationship, I think the Lord called us for, the, for such a time, time as, as now. This, yeah. I think it's purpose, mm -hmm. a great purpose. A great to yes, together. I think so, because, I mean, we share the same Fame. passion. Yes. We're very passionate about the end time. Yes. This is it. And I'm saying, that, oh, I'm the same thing me interested in. How oh, him love the mm -hmm. coming of the Lord. Him love to talk about Jesus. Him love to talk about the coming of, especially the, the end time, the coming of the Lord. So I think the Lord, 
Mm -hmm. is um, the Lord is very, what is the word, strategic? Yeah. yeah. Nothing happened by book of. No, no, sir. All things w happen together. All things work together. Long for good. before. Long before the foundation. We realize that. Yes. We realize this is bigger than us. Yes. It's not even about a lovey dovey kind of thing. Yes. It's about whole purpose. Yes. You know? And um, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Let's reach, go back a little now um, to the the TV series with uh, with Oliver. How was the first shooting and your memories of that? <laughs> that because really you know the stage is probably different than TV and and, and so. I did film you know some mm -hmm. Warner Brother. Um, I did Warner Brother um, Club Paradise. Really? Tell yes. us about that. That was an experience. That was a movie. That was, that was a movie. That was a movie, darling, and that was an experience. We went to do the film in Portland for mm -hmm. one week. And we end up spending about a month. It was us. Oh my God, we had some fun down mm -hmm. there doing that. So that Club was about Paradise. What year, about what year was that? That was about somewhat. Well, I'm saying now 25 years now, so it could be about so maybe um, maybe 30, 30, 40 years. Yeah. See wow. what time I fly per week? Yes. Yes. yes, yes about yes. 40 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So um. You went into um, full time after the pantomime into the the TV series Oliver Your Large. Yes. And how was that experience? That was. Oh, you were very young. At yes, that, time, that just was really. But school. um, those days when mm -hmm. it was like we didn't do it for the well, I didn't do it for the money. Yes. I did it for the love of it. Yes, you enjoyed. Oh it. my God, it was just the love of it, mm -hmm. and we had a good days, good experience. What was the first series? The first episode. I, I guess the first episode was, but then prior before that, you know, it's not just Oliver. I was in a play called Great Junction mm -hmm. with Hall Anthony Ellis. Mm -hmm. And um, which other one? Naysbury Street, Miss Elaine Perkins, Naysbury mm -hmm. Street. And then now, the, I guess Oliver saw me in those. Okay, and, then, and those were yes. performed that compared yes. into the Oliver series. In the Oliver series, mm -hmm. yes. And um, as I said, it's just, just the love of it, you know, mm -hmm. just the love of those things. We, yeah. Do you have any memorable episodes? Or uh, yeah, man, Mad Mavis. Yes. Mad Mavis. Mad Mavis, that role. <laughs> that role, you know. But you know, I guess some people said, come naturally. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, sir? <laughs> so, so when you just came in, you came in as, as his niece? No, man, when I came to Oliver, yes. I came as his girlfriend. You came as his girlfriend? As his girlfriend. <laughs> and then the niece, the niece part came after, because I guess there was an episode when there is this niece that you have that come from country and you're cooking the rice and you're oh, spoiling. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But you know what this thing more than me, <laughs> darling. <laughs> So that was after, yes, after Mad that, Mavis, yes, that's that, a different season, yes, different man, thing. Yes, different okay. thing, yes. So tell us about the Mad Mavis, because basically you were a TV couple. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, my dear, Mad Mavis, and with Maffey Valier Johnson. Yes. Yes, we did that. We had fun in that too, in mm -hmm. those episodes. So we, where, where the filming took place a mostly? T TV, uh, no, man, not TV. At the time it was JBC. JBC, yes. okay. JBC, Lord mm -hmm. of Mercy. When you're going down mm -hmm. there, you feel like big star going. Yes, so when <laughs> we're filming days and, and when and when you record and stuff. You know, we used to record, I can remember every... Um, I think this is every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday we used to record. Mm -hmm. A matter of fact, at one time, because it's so many episodes, yes. we were doing it like every day, one at a time. Yes. Yeah, man. Every day. Okay. And it yeah. basically take all day, basically. Yes. I, I'm and so blessed yes. to, to do theater full time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm blessed because when Oliver finish the episodes um, recording we would go overseas and tours Tour. oh my god those days were like when we go to london england mm -hmm. the place full of 10 10 well, i remember performing to 10,000 people mm -hmm. oh yeah okay mm -hmm. which one of the series probably which is your most memorable are the episodes are it seen <laughs> you can you can remember i guess um let me try and see I guess Mad Mavis today, you know, yeah. Mad Mavis today, but the one, my, my role as an actress yes. is Hall Anthony Ellis, um, um, television, Great Junction. Yes. 
those were the ones I really. Those are not, not so familiar. With yeah, those. I know. You're too young, young <laughs> butler, no hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there like a difficult scene like you? You can remember one of the most challenging moments where you know you found that a little bit challenging to to get that part. Is there any? You mean in the Oliver series? Yes. Uh, in acting. In generally. acting. Yeah. I think the pantomime, you know, I, I remember because I can't sing. Yes, you said And that. so, <laughs> my dear, when they wanted, they had to cut the song <laughs> just to accommodate me. Okay. So that was um, a memorable time for me, mm -hmm. you know, in theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you had indicated that once you left the theater, you mm -hmm. didn't look back. Why? Why? Once you came into contact with Christ, you... Lord, my dear, when you come in contact with Jesus, mm -hmm. you'll never be the same. Mm -hmm. The place you used to go, you can't go. The things you used to do, just something inside. No church tell me to stop acting. Yes. The Holy Spirit inside of me convict me I can't go mm -hmm. and do the things I used to so do. So how did your fans take to that? Oh, place? Lord, them take it even today. When you come, you're not coming back in the theater, what happened? Yes. <laughs> But I, I, I'm sure I'm going to do theater, but not in this regular secular theater. Mm -hmm. I don't think I, you can't mix. You can't mix. You can't mix acting and Jesus. When you meet Jesus, you're a new creation. Mm -hmm. And what I found, Jesus, what I found, I can't share. Mm -hmm. God is a jealous God. Yes. So I can't. I, some people do it, but yeah. I personally yeah, can't do it. Yeah, that's just your it. personal. I'm too passionate. Yes. Love is, my love for God is too strong. God yeah. is a jealous God. Yeah. And I can't mix it. Yes. You can't serve two masters. Yes. And that is it. And some people don't understand, but it is okay. So your friends at the time when you got saved, did they give you like a time say? No, oh, yes. Come out of church. Every day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> them, them time day. Yes. Now they realize say, yes, it's a, a serious business. Yes. Because when we tell them five years, what? But Anya, go on, man. Yes. <laughs> so they never expected you to, to last so long. Mm -hmm. But that really, when you way. find Jesus, my dear, because he's a keeper. Mm -hmm. God is a keeper. Mm -hmm. And he will keep you. No matter what. I remember I couldn't even live in my house mm -hmm. at the time when I got saved. I had to live somewhere else. I couldn't pay my mortgage mm -hmm. at the time. Because you come out of the theater, theater was all my, my, yes. in my life, my income. Yes. And so I had to come out of the house and you know sell off some of the properties there. Mm -hmm. And but I have no regret. So who who you manage? I remember one anything? landlord come down and it, and it say, "Me want me rent, or you can't stay." And him knock the door. Lady, come yes. out here. Yes. <laughs> so you see, you have to go through when. But sometimes the Lord wants to see what is inside yes. of you. And today, the house finished me up. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. Stay with God. God is God will help you so, and see you through. So what was your source of income at the time after you leave? No, I was there was no income. So no income. Live? I don't know, it's just the mercy of God. Live and by faith, day yes, by day. Day by day. And I went to America and it wasn't happening either. Because God is everywhere. And God showed me that Him can provide for me in Jamaica. Yes. God is a keeper. This is what I want to tell people. You have to just stand your ground with God and trust God and mm -hmm. God will provide for you. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be this case where you go to God and everything work out. Mm -hmm. God wants to see what is inside, what you are made of, out mm -hmm. of. So that is it. Um, going back a little further. Yeah. Tell us about your... How you met your first husband? How I met my Yes. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> not that first. Let's see, you're not easy. <laughs> I know how that person is not the curious. <laughs> how I met my first husband, I was going down to the wharf. Mm -hmm. This is real story, honey. Mm -hmm. And the story must be told. <laughs> I was going down the wharf and I said I want to, to um, I don't want a regular car. I want a station wagon car and I called for this taxi. And he came. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was okay. it. <laughs> Let's see. That was you had it. some things to carry, so you needed some, the space. Some yeah. the space, mm -hmm. just like that. Mm -hmm. And that that's how Abraham is here, why Abraham is here. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> hey, Rob is here. So, so, oh my God. God. so when you first first met that, that first day, what happened? Did us a casual thing and then he left, he dropped you off and he come back and pick you up and you keep using I the services? I think I keep using. Yes, you keep using that, 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 that service. God have mercy. God mercy. This one too real, you know. This one too so, real. So what? Oh so my how, God! How it moved from that now till you got married? How how it moved from that? Things start get serious. Yes, things start get serious with Mr. Gallimore. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was it. Oh what, Lord! What year you got married? I wish, which year it was again? Um, Abraham is what? I got married about um nineteen eight ninety four. 94, they are about. Yeah, they are about, I they are think, about. yeah. And mm -hmm. how was married life now? Because you were, you were still acting at that time? No, man. Oh, you finished? Oh, you they finished acting, okay. man. In so, the church and serious about okay, my God. Okay, you were saved at that time. Yes, and he was a yes. Christian as, as well? Yeah, we were church goer. Church goer. Church Believe in God. Yes. Most Jamaican and but so. my dear, in same what Jesus so fast. Yes. <laughs> Oh, after you got saved. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Him same one to, and fall in love with Jesus as going to Dennis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that is it. That's okay. it. So you you eventually got divorced. So was that that like a period of Very life? painful, especially for Abraham. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, wow. It is really a painful experience. Uh, but we are very good friends now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still have a cardiac really. Yes, oh yes, you have to. So oh, that did affect your son really? Yeah, it affected him. Mm -hmm. He always say, I want to be with mommy and daddy. Yes. He never says, I want to be with mommy mm -hmm. or daddy. He want to be with both of us. How old was he after when you were, when you got the divorce? Could be about, um, what, 10? 10. About 10, yeah. Okay. About so that. did he understand what was taking place at the time? Never want to know. He never want to know? He never want to know. He just um, say, I want to be with mommy and daddy. Yes. So what did you tell him? <laughs> Why can't it can't be possible? What him, no, can you tell even him? Now, him even now, he's yeah. still, you know, you can feel it. Yeah. He still don't want to know. The family is so important. Mm -hmm. It's so sad that these things have to happen. Yes. But um, it happens. What you know? would you say is probably the most difficult period of your life or situation looking back over the years? Over the years? Yeah, that you have encountered, the most difficult, challenging. You feel like you couldn't make it at that time. Maybe that would have been the end in your mind, but... I think, you know, to be quite honest, is the divorce, that yes. part of the time when, you know, Abraham have to go with daddy. And, um, you know, I guess that the divorce, yeah, yes. I guess that was, I would say that, you know, because I'm a happy, good, lucky person. I don't let things bother me, especially now that I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. no matter what. So you cried? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> oh no matter what, I um, peace is always with me. You yes. know, my, the word of God says, "My peace I leave with you, not as the world gives." So I'm always a, I'm a peaceful person, mm -hmm. and happy person too. No matter what kind of situation I can make, you know, good out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and mm -hmm. then you eventually took a break from. All of that, and then yes, you said you met your husband when you were in the in the hospital. He yes, just you. like that, Silton and I met. What were you in the hospital? Fibroids. I had. I was mm -hmm. bleeding. I didn't even know I would be alive today. Mm -hmm. I was bleeding, bleeding. I remember the lock, the doctor looking at each other and said, "Wow, mm, we have to send up yes emergency and they get the ambulance and." Send me up to the university hospital. I didn't know I would be here today. Mm -hmm. Five boys, I was just bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Mm -hmm. And Silton came in and prayed for me. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and we, that was it. I mean, years after, mm -hmm. because that was in 2004. Yes. So I, and I met him again when mm -hmm. his wife died. Mm -hmm. Yep, years after. So have you done any? Please. Um, 
it's in the making, believe me, it's in the making. And a lot of persons saying, when am I coming out, you mm -hmm. know, with, with some, with the gospel. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm going to, because there's a burning one inside of me. Remember now thy creator yeah. before the evil days. I would love to do it. Even if I can get a writer to write something like that. Remember now thy creator before the evil days. Mm -hmm. That is inside of me. I guess I'm writing the vision. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I would love for it to happen one day. Mm -hmm. Remember now thy creator. So since, since you started to work with the Lord, yeah. has it been an easy journey? As I said, my initial journey wasn't easy yes. because I couldn't live it at my house. I had to um, rent it out to live somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Couldn't pay the rent. And I remember one at the time, I didn't even have a fridge. Mm -hmm. so you and one at the time, I had one dress. I remember the little black and white dress I had. So you know, leave the house. Huh? No, what? Every Sunday, me gone to church. What? In the one dress? One dress. Me remember when we started out. One look, one dress me had. Thank God. So that time me happy. Me no, son. But I don't think people watch these little things. But I was so happy in that one little dress. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. I know you have so much. Oh Lord, it's time me late now. <laughs> Too much. Too much. Oh God, it's so good to serve God. Mm -hmm. If I had, you know, the will, I would just put the Holy Ghost in everyone. Oh Lord, it's mighty nice to be on the Lord's side. Is your mama, mother still alive? Yeah, man, she's in Florida. She lives in West Palm Beach. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm just praying that she come over to God. Uh -huh. Yes, you yes. You didn't mention much about your father. You uh, notice, oh yeah. Lord, the poor father never did. The girlfriend wasn't here. <laughs> oh Lord. Where was he? But there's somewhere, but not where I am concerned. You know, I understand the word of God said when my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord will take, take me, me up, up, and I'm happy, my dear. So when I see you, that's why I love God so. When huh? I you, you spoke. Ah, oh, it's a long time. I so tried to your, your childhood. Your no, he wasn't there. there, but I love him just the so same. So when you pick him, come look for him. a big dog. No, man, of course him come one and two time, poor thing. But maybe him can't deal with it yes. with all of this. I remember him coming here and I treated him so nice, and him say, Saint Anne, and him keep saying, and he's a saint. And I don't know if this is why he's so shy, I don't want to connect. But I would love her, my arms is open wide. I love my father. If it mm -hmm. wasn't for my father, I would not be here. Do you have other siblings? Yes, man. About five, five other kids. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're the baby? No, darling, we are the first one. You're yeah, the first one? <laughs> yes. Everybody have to listen to you? Poor me. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. For persons who are not interested in in church and about Jesus. They just want to do theater full time. How steps they can take to get involved and, and teach First of them? all, you, if you, um, you can start um, primarily going to um, go to the festival, yes. enter festival that is our opening, and you can go to the little theater movement, start mm -hmm. with a pantomime. Mm -hmm. So that is a and be like experience of course, from yes, there. Start. And if you yeah. have the talent, the right person will see you. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I have. You know. You mm -hmm. you had, had asked earlier about um, any plays that you have done since you have um, started the Christian journey. But there's one that we forgot to yes. include. Look what Jesus, Jesus did. did. Yes. Look what Jesus did when he washed me. Okay. Hey, look what Jesus did. You see, me can't sing. Yes. The church, but me can't sing now. <laughs> Oliver, me can't sing now. You see, me couldn't sing. See, me I sing here. Yeah. Yeah. Look what Jesus did when he washed it me. It came from the song. Look, yes, from the play that song came, was it now? Look what Jesus did. Yes, tell yes. us about that, that um, all putting it together and that production. And, oh, and I was so excited to do that um, that was my first production but the kingdom needs money you know mm -hmm. the Bible said money answer it <laughs> all things <laughs> yes. so I mean I could I didn't it didn't go do as much as I you know mm -hmm. thought it would be but I'm coming back again mm -hmm. a matter of fact I'm looking in December I want to do start now with a gospel concert in December mm -hmm sometime after christmas so look out people mm -hmm. look tuned, out stay, stay tuned, tuned. Mm -hmm. december it's going to be one grand 
fabulous affair. You know, anything Jesus did, we have to big it yes. up. Yeah, make so, I'm, of course, it. Jesus, awesome God. Yes. Oh, my God, the creator of yes. everything. Yes. Oh, my God, yes. So, look out, December. December. I'm coming out and I say, on a, on a long face me. Well, come out, December. <laughs> well, as, look forward as we December. close, are there yes. any words of encouragement you want to leave to somebody? You know, generally speaking, persons have different goals and objectives in life, but life is not easy. Life is not easy, but let me tell you the truth, um, Lestine, if you focus on Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you will come through. No matter what you're going through now, if you focus on God, the songwriter said, you, you may not know when, you may not know how Jesus Christ is going to um, see you through, mm -hmm. no matter what the case is. Mm -hmm. Just trust in Jesus. Word of God said, be still and know that I am God. Yes. And he will come through. I can tell you, I can testify about that, that Jesus Christ is a way maker. Mm -hmm. He is a way maker. I can tell you from my experience that Jesus Christ, when I give up the theater, I didn't know what, how I was going to survive. Really? 25 years, and see me here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm well. I'm fulfilled in God. Mm -hmm. Everything, financially, everything. Mm -hmm. I feel to cry as I start. There no because man, I no know man. what when I came out of the theater, I, my family was, them saying, what are you going to crazy. do? Crazy. The crazy said, how are you going to manage? Mm -hmm. And when I see how God work in my life, step by step, mm -hmm. to God be the, the glory. glory. And I can recommend the Almighty God. Yes. Oh God, that is my testimony. Well, Anne Marie, thank yeah. you so much for sharing with us today. I'm really glad to have you spending some time with us. Yes. God bless. God bless you. Yes. And thank you for spending some time with us today. Before you go, let me remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we publish further videos. All right, have a blessed day.